The Republic of Nicaragua is a Central American country between Honduras and Costa Rica, located along the region of the Pacific, now known as the Ring of Fire. It has more than 13 volcanoes, despite only being about the size of the state of New York. Three stripes, two that are blue and one that is white, but that still has that pyramid. And it's also one of the only flags that has any purple in it. Miss Whitehead is a Spanish teacher at Farragut High School who is an expert on Nicaraguan history and culture. Yes, well what happened was that in 1821, Mexico declared its independence. Um, but a lot of Central America united, the countries from Costa Rica to Guatemala united and called themselves the um, Central United Countries, American countries. They wanted to create one large country down there. But and so uh, there was a lot of infighting between the countries between Costa Rica and Guatemala. And so in, in the end, they ended up becoming their own separate nations. Uh, it currently has a representative democracy. Um, however, there is some question about how much democracy is involved because the uh, man who is currently president, uh, Daniel Ortega, has been president since 2007. And in 2008, the Supreme Court in Nicaragua um, dissolved, or actually I should say prevented several of the other parties from participating in national elections. So it's difficult to say if there, people are actually constantly uh, re-electing him or if he's preventing there from being any civil protest which would prevent it from being an actual democracy. Violeta Barrios de Chamorro was Nicaragua's first female president elected in 1990. She defeated incumbent Daniel Ortega, Nicaragua's current leader. Michael Rhodes is the chairman of the board of PIC Nicaragua Ministries. He has been traveling to Nicaragua regularly for 17 years. The biggest celebrated tradition that I'm aware of is their Independence Day. And in my eyes, they're really not independent, but uh, it's a big celebration for them. Mainly they eat rice and beans. There's a extreme uh, amount of rice grown and beans grown in the country, so it's readily available and fairly cheap. One popular Nicaraguan dish is gallo pinto, a mixture of fried rice, onion, sweet pepper, and red beans boiled with garlic. It, um, the culture is, um, hmm, I would say it's amazing. It's stunning because it's a mixed culture. There are all sorts of influences from Spain, from the indigenous cultures that were there. There's also, also a great deal of African influence because of, unfortunately, the slave trade. Um, since they're right on the Caribbean, um, they were part of that as well. And so there's some really amazing things that have come out of that culture just because of the different mixes of um, backgrounds and cultures. Palemayo, sabroso palemayo, palemayo.